I know you've addressed this on the Locked on Browns podcast. Who do you think's in for two, 2024? Who do you think is out for 2024? This is kind of one where it gets difficult, you know. Um, you know, Kareem Hunt. I mean, it's it, it was an amazing job what Kareem did this year. Um, but you know, all the yards were gained by toughness, and you know, just being an absolute bully. It's really hard to continue to play like that. And it's great to say, yeah, you know, nine touchdowns regular season, had the two touchdowns in a playoff game. But you know, you really got to start looking to get in that room younger. And getting that room better. And, you know, look, Jerome Ford, again, 1,100 total yards in a regular season, nine touchdowns. 16% of his carries went for negative yardage. And, you know, you look at Nick and, you know, even still, if Nick had gotten through this year healthy, you still have to back in your mind to say, you know, when's it going to be? When's it going to be time? It's a running back. Um, so, you know, that's you know something you're worried about. I think Nick will come back because he'd be foolish – and you saw this similar last year with Anthony Walker and Sione Taki Taki. You know, once you've started, you know, basically, you know, the injury process, the rehab process, you don't really want to go to a new organization. You don't want to change everything. It's just not the right thing to do, you know, in that type of scenario. You know, the wide receiver room, you know, Goodwin, you know, Grant, those guys probably most likely are not going to be here. Um, I think David Bell made a nice name for himself the last two weeks. Obviously, the regular season game for David Bell counted. The Bengals had their first stringers out there. He looked good, put up eight receptions, doing the dirty work. Um, I think both tight ends could possibly be gone besides David Njoku. You can kind of reset the clock on a guy like Harrison Bryant, get a younger guy. You might want to get a guy who can come in here with a little bit more of a blocking reputation. So maybe those are some of the reps that David Njoku can take off. Um, I find it hard to believe that this Browns, the Browns will have all six of their top offensive linemen on this team in 2024. And a lot of it is money related, of course. Um, but, you know, if you tell me that, you know, obviously uh, Will's going to be here and of course, Batonio and Posick and Teller and then Conklin and Dewan Jones, I just find it hard that all six of those guys are going to be here. You know, defensive tackle, um, you know, Jordan Elliott. Yeah, I think it's time, you know, Mar you know, Ika could probably get those reps. You want to bring back a guy like Maurice Hurst. Zadarius Smith, it's, it's always a difficult position. And these are things I talked about with Jarvis Landry a couple of years ago. It's really a difficult decision to have when you just paid somebody 12, 13, 14 million dollars. And now all of a sudden, you know, when you're trying to say, hey, we're seeing 50%. 50% less. Like, that's basically why you tell these guys, hey, why don't you try to go have these conversations first? You know, get your name out there, have your agent do his business. Because you don't want to be to tell the guy, you know, to tell a guy that you've had respect for has been in your locker room that all of a sudden now he's, you know, 50% monetarily of the player he used to be. Um, you know, secondary, I think safety, you're going to be okay because it's just going to be uh, Thornhill. It's going to be Delpit. And obviously, Ronnie Hickman, who really showed pretty well other than the playoff game. The cornerback room, you're good. But, you know, Anthony Walker, Maybe even see only Taki Taki. I mean, I would keep see see only around um, because the problem is, is you know, I think see only you can probably get in a cheap deal, and you got to keep in mind with that linebacker room, a lot of money is probably going to go towards JOK here soon. Um, but yeah, it's you know that's one of the most difficult things about you know any season ending because it starts to you know yeah yeah it's great you may have loved this guy yesterday. But do you love this guy come September? And it leads for, you know, awkward and difficult conversations within the NFL.